I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a manatee in a marine biome. I come all the way over here down here on the bottom on the left and I put a dot. We're going to draw a rectangle, straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line, connect. On each corner I'm just going to put a little straight diagonal line going out. And now we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, wavy, wavy line, connect, and a wavy, wavy line, connect. Inside this space, we're going to write the word marine, which is another word standing for water. You can have a biome that is water. Remember, a biome is a large area of land or water that has similar climate, plants, and animals. And this is a good example, the manatee. I come way over here up on top, one finger, and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. I come right here in the center and I put another dot. From that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, connect. Now I can connect this line on the left and this line on the right. I come over here on the left and I draw one baby circle, jump over on the right, another baby circle. Come back to the left, curve line in, come to the right, curve line in. I'm going to color this in black because I have my black out. Left and right. Okay. Now, come inside this space. We're going to draw one baby circle and another baby circle. And down here, we're just going to draw a curve line on the left curve line on the right. And let's put some little dots. These are whisker dots. Okay? Come back up here to the top and we're going to draw a big curve line down off the page. These are big animals. We're going to come right about here and we're going to draw another big curve line and then we're going to stop because right here we're going to put a dot. And from that dot, we draw a straight diagonal down, curve line up, and leave it floating. Now we connect this line, jump over, and now we're going to do this line. And again, right about here, let's stop, put a dot, draw another straight line, curve line up, in, and leave it floating. Connect this line. Keep going off the page. Come over here on the left and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. Okay, that looks like that's about it. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first part I'm going to color in with my foam green is my label down here with the frame. So this I'm doing foam green. You may choose any color you want. This is just the color that I chose. Now, this manatee is underwater. So I'm going to take my apricot beige, my light brown if you don't have multicultural crayons, now I'm just going to draw some lines at the bottom, and that represents the bottom of the sea floor that this is on. Then I'm going to take my gray, and we're going to loop-de-loop -loop the entire space 
right here because we're going to loop de loop over it. It's going to be double color. Now, what's interesting about manatees is that, or manatees, is I looked at them. I'm going to color this space gray and this space gray and this space gray. When I looked them up, I thought to myself, wow, this looks like they should be related to a walrus. No, they are related to elephants. How do you like that? That's their closest relative in the animal kingdoms. They are endangered. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, first I got my first coat of gray. Now I come over and I lightly, not too dark, I lightly loop-de-loop -loop over my gray. So he's two-toned. These are very big, big animals. They're slow moving, which is part of the reason why they're endangered. They don't get, they can't get out of the way if there's a boat or a ship coming. So they're easily maimed lightly. Okay, now because I want him to be under color, I take the side part of my blue and I do my waves all the way across and down. Now you do the side, it gives you another kind of colored crayon look. Way cool. Then to make sure I've got it underwater, I'm coming back in with my blue green and going over the entire background with blue green. And don't forget your base down here at the bottom. Take your time. I'm sure you'll do a better job than me. Hokey dokey. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is my manatee all colored in. He's a great example of a marine biome. You can find manatees by the Amazon in South America and then you can see them again, find them again in Florida. That's an excellent example of a biome marine. Okay, bye-bye.